Hello, Junior Guides. I am Safari Guide Frank. I hope that you are as excited as I am about today's safari. Can you guess what we will be seeing today? Today we will be exploring the fascinating world of plants. Why are there so many plants on Earth? Plants are very important because of two reasons. They clean the air by removing carbon dioxide and they replace it with oxygen. This process is called photosynthesis. So what exactly is photosynthesis? It is the process where plants remove carbon dioxide from the air and replace it with oxygen. Carbon dioxide is what we exhale when we breathe, and oxygen is what we take in in order to live. Oxygen is vital for all living organisms to survive. Another reason plants are important to most living organisms on Earth is because they are food. A lot of animals eat plants, from grass to leaves and even fruit. Us humans also eat fruit and plants. For example, think about corn and wheat that we can make bread with. Plants are also used in some medicines. We will be discussing a few trees, shrubs, grasses, and a water plant in this module. What is a tree? A tree is a plant with a woody support structure connecting the roots to the leaves that is usually taller than 3 meters. It has roots, a trunk, leaves, and a canopy or crown. Can you see any trees around you? Let's discuss some of the trees we find in southern Africa. The leadwood tree is a tree that lives for a very long time. Scientists estimate well over a thousand years. Scientists also say that the dead tree that is in the bottom picture will stand for as long as the tree stood while it was alive. So if it was alive for a thousand years, it will be dead for a thousand years as well. Leadwood tree bark resembles the skin of a crocodile. Can you see the difference in the two pictures to the right? The wood is also very strong and people make furniture from it. The baobab tree. The baobab tree is also one of the oldest living trees on the planet. They can live for over 2,500 years. People have respected these trees for ages. Look at the size of this tree compared to the elephant standing in its shade. The fruit from the baobab tree is edible and has more vitamin C than an orange. The fruit can also be used to treat a running tummy. Remember when we spoke about medicine? The bark can be used to make rope, which in turn can be used to make baskets and mats. The marula tree. This tree is one of the most prominent trees in southern Africa. It is favored by animals as well as humans. It creates good shade in the summer and provides fruit to eat. Animals and humans love the marula tree. The fruit contains a lot of vitamin C and people make juice and beer from it. Another famous drink that is made from it is amarula cream. Elephants shake the tree to get to the sweet yet sour fruit. What is a shrub? A shrub is a plant smaller than a tree. Animals and humans use it for food. It has roots, twigs and leaves. The velvet raisin is one of the more common shrubs we find in the African bush. Animals and humans favor these shrubs. Humans make a sweet tea from the fruit, and animals love to eat the fruit as well as the leaves. Grass. Over 30% of most continents are covered by grass. Grass is very important, as it provides food for most animals as well as oxygen. Can you name the different parts of a grass plant? Grass helps to prevent soil erosion. The roots keep the soil together. Can you see the roots holding onto the soil? 
A water plant. Water plants are important to the aquatic, or otherwise known as the water systems. They release oxygen into the water and provide food for animals and humans. They are also quite pretty. The flowers from the water lily can be used to make a tasty stew with. It is known as water lily stew. The lily pads are used medicinally to treat sunburned skin. Bees can get pollen from the flowers and use this to make honey. Can you see the bee on the flower? This is the end of the module. Now that you know more about plants and their uses, and how important they are, you can tell others about them. Good luck with the quiz. We can't wait for our next adventure.